Hi guys, it's Bags and President Ross. Today we have an updated election map according to foxnews.com. Who do you guys want to win? Let us know in the comments. Also, like, share, and subscribe for more videos. The Fox News took these statistics from the NYT slash Siena College poll October 24th to November 2nd. 7,879 uh, 7, likely voters in each state MOE plus minus 3.5 points. Let's fill in that beautiful election map according to these polls. We have, as always, the blue states are for Kamala Harris. They are Washington, Oregon, California, Hawaii, Colorado, New Mexico, parts of Nebraska, Minnesota, Illinois, New York, Virginia, New Hampshire, Vermont, Connecticut, New Jersey, Massachusetts, Delaware, Rhode Island, Maryland, and the District of D.C. And Maine at large and Maine's first district are blue for Kamala Harris. The red states, as always, are for Donald J. Trump. They are Montana, Idaho, Wyoming, Utah, Alaska, North Dakota, South Dakota, most of Nebraska, Kansas, Oklahoma, Texas, Louisiana, Arkansas, Missouri, Iowa, Mississippi, Alabama, Florida, South Carolina, Tennessee, Kentucky, West Virginia, Ohio, Indiana, and Maine's second district are red for Donald J. Trump. This leaves Kamala Harris at 226 electoral votes to Donald J. Trump's 219 electoral votes with the seven swing states slash battlegrounds that these candidates need to win the 2024 election. The battleground states are Nevada with six electoral votes, Arizona with 11 electoral votes, Wisconsin with 10 electoral votes, Michigan with 15 electoral votes, Pennsylvania with 19 electoral votes, North Carolina with 16 electoral votes, Georgia with 16 electoral votes. These states will decide the 2024 election, especially Pennsylvania. Let's fill in this map according to Fox News, NYT, Siena College poll. First up, Nevada with six electoral votes has Trump at 46% to Kamala Harris at 49%, making Nevada blue for Kamala Harris, giving her the lead over Donald J. Trump even more. Arizona, according to Fox News and Siena poll, Kamala Harris has 45% to Donald J. Trump's 49, making Arizona and its 11 electoral votes red for Donald J. Trump. He closes the gap, but she's still leading by two. Wisconsin, according to Fox News and Siena College polling, Donald J. Trump has 47% of Wisconsin votes to Kamala Harris's 49, making Kamala Harris the winner of Wisconsin. Michigan, according to Fox News and Siena polling, Donald J. Trump has 47% of the vote to Kamala Harris's 47%. It is a tie. Michigan will not be colored in. Georgia, according to the Siena poll on Fox News, Donald J. Trump has 47% to Kamala Harris's 48%, making Georgia blue for Kamala Harris, giving her the 16 electoral votes. The gap is super wide now. Donald J. Trump would need to win North Carolina and Pennsylvania. And even then, we would not have a victory, I don't think. North Carolina, according to Fox News and Siena polling, Donald J. Trump has 46% of the vote to Kamala Harris's 48%, making North Carolina blue for Kamala Harris giving her the 274 electoral votes that they need to win. Pennsylvania, according to Fox News and Siena polling, Donald J. Trump has 48% to Kamala Harris's 48%. It will not be colored in. I will tell the Republican and Donald Trump voters, even if we filled in Michigan and Pennsylvania, for Donald Trump, fill in red. And Michigan. He would still not have enough electoral votes to win the 2024 presidential election. So, fill them in gray. It is most likely, according to several polls, except for two that I can think of off the top of my head, that Kamala Harris will win Michigan, changing their gasoline powered factories into electric vehicle producing factories, as she has claimed that she wants to do. 
causing millions of people that don't want to convert over to electric vehicles in these factories to quit their jobs or look for work elsewhere. It is a sad day when that happens. I am President Ross. And I'm Bags. And we're out. Kamala is the big winner. <laughs>